Ford recently unveiled its financial results for the fourth quarter, and the company's performance fell well below what analysis had predicted. This outcome comes as a notable contrast, considering the considerable attention drawn by the launch of the Ford Lightning electric vehicle. Nonetheless, reports indicate that the company incurred substantial financial losses in 2022, and its projections point to even more noteworthy deficits in the year ahead 2023. The question arises, what are the underlying causes for this situation, and what potential strategies can Ford implement to address these challenges? Let's delve into the matter and explore the landscape at Ford Motor. With a rich history that spans over a century, Ford remains an emblematic American automaker that has experienced substantial transformation under the guidance of CEO Jim Farley. The primary aim of this transformation has been to navigate the changing automotive terrain and harness the growing electric vehicle market. CEO Jim Farley instigated a momentous strategic choice to compartmentalize Ford's EV branch from its traditional internal combustion engine divisions, signifying a pivotal shift in the company's operational framework. This strategic reorganization has effectively divided Ford into three discernible pillars. Over its extensive history, Ford has entrenched itself as a symbol of America automotive prowess. The leadership of CEO Jim Farley has prompted a substantial reconfiguration. Driven by the necessity to adapt to the shifting automotive milieu, and leverage the burgeoning demand for electric vehicles. A seminal determination by CEO Farley has been the demarcation of Ford's EV arm from its conventional gasoline and diesel segments. This critical restructuring has effectively cleaved Ford into three distinctive pillars, signifying a fundamental departure in its organizational structure. Ford's transformation under CEO Jim Farley's leadership has led to the establishment of three distinct pillars, each with a specialized focus. The first pillar, known as Ford Model E, is dedicated to the advancement and marketing of electric vehicles, strategically positioning Ford to tap into the burgeoning market for battery-powered cars and solidify its presence in the EV sector. This move underscores Ford's commitment to becoming a prominent player in the EV industry. The second pillar, labeled Ford Blue, encompasses the realm of traditional internal combustion engine vehicles, addressing the needs of consumers who still exhibit a preference for gasoline or diesel-powered transportation choices. This facet of Ford's strategy acknowledges the diversity of consumer preferences within the automotive landscape and aims to cater to a wide range of mobility needs. The third and final pillar, Ford Pro, concentrates on the domain of commercial vehicles. By offering a versatile lineup tailored to both the industrial and commercial segments, Ford Pro aims to meet the distinct demands of businesses operating in various sectors. This strategic focus reaffirms Ford's dedication to providing comprehensive solutions across different industries and reinforces its commitment to innovation in mobility. Shifting from its previous practice of reporting profits by regions, Ford has adopted a new strategy by disclosing profits individually for its three divisions. This novel divisional reporting tactic serves the purpose of emphasizing the performance and future prospects of Ford's electric vehicle enterprise. By adopting this approach, the company aims to offer stakeholders a more distinct perspective of its triumphs in the realm of electric vehicles. Rather than amalgamating figures based on geographical regions, the focus is now on segregating profits by divisions. This shift underscores the significance of Ford's EV business and facilitates a more lucid evaluation of its accomplishments within the burgeoning electric vehicle markets. Prior to undergoing this restructuring, Ford encountered a spectrum of viewpoints from analysts regarding its trajectory in the realm of electric vehicles. Amidst these perspectives, a dichotomy emerged, wherein some experts advocated for the detachment of the EV division into an independent entity. While constructing this, CEO Jim Farley and other senior executives chose to maintain the EV sector as an integral part of the company's operations. The rationale behind this strategic decision stemmed from their conviction that retaining the EV unit within the corporate fold would facilitate the utilization of Ford's established manufacturing acumen and infrastructural resources. This approach was underpinned by the notion that such a course of action would endow Ford with a competitive advantage over emerging EV startups. The deliberations within Ford's leadership reflect the complexity of navigating the shifting EV landscape. While external voices called for separation, the internal leadership believe in the merits of a unified approach. By eschewing the establishment of an independent EV entity, 
Ford aimed to exploit its long-standing industry experience and extensive manufacturing facilities to pivot effectively toward EV production. This strategic alignment highlighted their confidence in leveraging their existing strength to carve a distinct position in the evolving electric vehicle market. Notwithstanding these carefully considered strategic moves, Ford's foray into the electric vehicle sector, represented by the Model E division, confronted notable obstacles. In the preceding year, this segment of the company's operations grappled with considerable difficulties, as evidenced by a substantial operating loss. The root cause of these challenges was attributed to problems in the execution of key initiatives, while Ford's financial results for the specified time frame underscored noteworthy revenue generation, the company's net income and adjusted earnings failed to meet the projected targets. Despite the meticulous planning and strategic alignment, Ford's endeavors in the electric vehicle arena, particularly encapsulated within the Model E sector, were not immune to significant hurdles. The operational loss incurred in the preceding year acted as a visible testament to the complexities encountered. The primary factor behind these setbacks was identified as lapses in the execution of vital strategies. Although the financial report for the designated period reflected commendable revenue accrual, the actual net income and adjusted earnings painted a different picture by falling below the anticipated levels. CEO Jim Farley openly conveyed his frustration regarding the opportunities for profit that had been overlooked, highlighting the imperative of enhancing execution and overall performance in future endeavors. In a parallel vein, Ford's chief financial officer, Don Lawler, provided insights into the anticipated losses within the Model E category. He drew a parallel between this segment and an independent electric vehicle startup within the company, emphasizing the shared characteristic of substantial investments demanded during the nascent stages of ventures in the electric vehicle domain. Jim Farley's candid expression of discontent underscored the company's recognition of missed prospects for generating profits, while also signaling an unwavering commitment to bettering execution methods and overall operational efficacy moving forward. Echoing this sentiment, Ford's CFO John Lawler embarked on an insightful comparison by likening the challenges faced within the Model E sector to those encountered by independent electric vehicle startups. This juxtaposition serves as a poignant reminder of the considerable capital outlay necessary during the initial phases of endeavors within the electric vehicle landscape. Both Farley's forthrightness and Lawler's illustrative analogy collectively emphasize Ford's acknowledgement of the hurdles in its electric vehicle pursuits. By addressing the necessity for redefined execution and capital allocation akin to emerging EV startups, the company exhibits a clear-eyed approach to navigating the intricacies of this transformative market segment. Ford holds ambitious aspirations for its Model E division, envisioning commendable profit margins through an ambitious strategy of amplifying production scale. By bolstering manufacturing capacities and endeavoring to produce a substantial 2 million electric vehicles per annum by 2026, Ford seeks to harness economies of scale and ameliorated cost efficiencies. In spite of the predicted financial setbacks, Ford's unwavering commitment to its electric trajectory remains resolute. The company's overarching objective is to capitalize on the burgeoning electric vehicle market, utilizing strategies encompassing efficiency enhancements, reduction of battery expenditures, and the substantial expansion of production scale, all directed towards achieving profitability. Ford's steadfast dedication to its electric vision underscores a conviction in the long-term potential of the EV market. The intricate process of navigating the foreseen challenges is poised to test the company's strategic acumen and adaptability. The outcome? Whether Ford will adeptly surmount these obstacles and guide its electric vehicle enterprise towards profitability remains in anticipation poised for future realization. In conclusion, Ford's historic journey as an American automaker faces a critical juncture with its restructuring under CEO Jim Farley. While the division into three pillars signals Ford's commitment to adapting to the evolving automotive landscape, challenges have emerged in the EV-focused Model E segment. Despite initial setbacks and execution issues, Ford's strategy of leveraging existing strength and scaling up production reflects a determined pursuit of electric vehicle prominence. With ambitions of profitability through improved efficiency, cost reduction, and increased manufacturing, Ford's ability to successfully navigate this transformative phase will define its future role in the dynamic electric vehicle market.